I think it might have been yeah. about the war front. It and, was. Uh, the cycling. Yeah. And the times and everything, which hopefully there's more to do in the in-between times. So. His most poignant thing was his acknowledgement that they don't communicate their expectations well enough uh-huh. so that when we're here playing the game, we have certain expectations and they have expectations too, but they don't relay that, so they don't belong. And he was saying that you know people wouldn't be as half as angry if they just if they knew if if they communicated more effectively. I yeah, think I they've like, had that issue a lot too, and they've talked about that in the past. Where there's sometimes just a disconnect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least they know it. Seem to be getting worse now. People will complain no matter what. This is true. Yeah, yeah that's true. true. Yep, you can't please everyone. I mean, overall, I'm enjoying it, and I Ditto. hope that some of the things that are a bit of an issue, they'll fix, yeah. especially with, the, like, the reputation thing and, like, making alts and having to, like, go through that process, but it seems like they're going to figure that out, so. All they need to do is introduce what they did in Pandaria, the grand mm-hmm. commendation for faction, yep. and you get double rep. Agreed. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. It was account, but it was account wide. It worked with alts. It made it way less painful. Yep. 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 Yeah, I'm not sure why they like went away from that, but that was really nice. Well, there's no, there's no question that uh, Blizzard, Blizzard, and Activision Blizzard are very different companies. Yeah, that's a good point. Too. get started um just so everyone knows i am recording the meeting so that way those people who can't attend tonight then they can watch it at a later time on our website or on our youtube channel um and we do have a few new people joining us tonight so i think we should probably uh, go around and introduce ourselves i'm oopsie i'm one of the officers i'm dariella i'm one of the officers and the raid leader I'm pro, I'm one of the officers. That's Rez on pro, you forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's my full name. Hi, <laughs> uh, I'm Savvy, I might, I'm an officer, and uh, I like ice cream. <laughs> yeah, right. mm-hmm. I'm Persephone, I'm the guild leader, and I also like ice cream. And lots of And wine. And tea. And meat okay. plates. And- <laughs> And lots of greens. If you <laughs> want to make her happy, send all your greens to her. <laughs> um. I'm Roz. I just like everything. I'm Dagnetic. I'm a druid. Now, Dagnetic. Black Prairie. I'm Karima. I will stab you in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's it. I'll play Shaman. Awesome, Shaman. Ray, I read naked. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Don't we all? I'm Shorty, and I'll set you on fire. <laughs> Dozer, I like getting punched in the face. <laughs> Our meat shield. Who does it? <laughs> What else we're missing? I met everybody that said something already. <laughs> <laughs> I had freezer burn. He freezes and burn. Depending on what time of day. <laughs> this is a uh, Schnoz and Nixus. Hi. Hey, Schnoz. Oh, sorry, who was that again? Carly or Carlisle? Okay. 
I'm a priest. Sweet. Very good. Welcome all the new one. Oh. Yes, welcome. <clears throat> In the return you will, you will hear things that Jack out of names called all the time. <laughs> you know, they are calling us. Yeah, oops and dag nabbit, they get blamed for things that they didn't even do. <laughs> the first time I heard my name called when I was getting a degree. That would have been me. Hi guys, I'm Jasmine and I'm gonna make Hey Jasmine. <laughs> okay, anyone else? No. I don't think I've heard Packet. I don't think I've heard Zen yet. Where should I? I mean, how how would Jeff feel right now? Your entire <laughs> life story, please. I'm telling you about my new warlock. Humble monk, both playing Windwalker and Brewmaster. I'm a raid leader and guild leader of another guild. Met Savvy through the group finder one night and found a home in CRD, and I'm really glad to be here. Hmm. Oh. 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 All right, Zen was I'm, surprised. I'm, I'm Packy, and I'm a tag along uh, elitist hunter. That came from the same way Zen did. I'm an officer in that guild uh, and the officer for range, and I come to help out this week as often as I can. Very much appreciated. Come in peace. And leave in pieces. <laughs> Oh, I can camp now. Ah, nice. I'm killing the other like, war scouts with Raz. You can no. I think that's it. Do you need help ending off some alliance, Dag now? Nah, I'm good. Alright, I think that's everyone. So we'll get started. So for those of you who are new to us, just so you know, um, our raid progression nights are Saturday night. Uh, we begin raiding September 29th. It's posted on the calendar. Uh, we raid for three hours, eight to 11. We do have two five minute breaks, one at nine and one at 10. And then with respect to raiding expectations and our loot rules, I will pass it over to Dariella, our raid leader. Okay, so first things first, um, DPS, um, HPS needed, um, right now it, on the event it says 10k, we're going to drop that down to 8k, um, just based on all the live data and everything that I've looked at, so I will be updating that and first we'll get the website updated to reflect that. Indeed. And then just basic raid expectations. Um, please be on time, uh, be fully gemmed and enchanted. Um, me and the officers and other guild members who help out, we'll try to provide, you know, food, flasks, and potions, but mats are pretty hard to come by right now. Bro. So you will probably have to bring your own, you know, food, flask, potions um, for a while. Uh, like I said, we'll try to help out when we can, um, you know, things are expensive, so let us know when we will do everything we can to help, but it's just been really hard to get enough mats, so just be aware of that. You'll probably have to buy some stuff or make your own. Also, uh, make sure you research the fights. Uh, just be prepared. I'll also post videos um, on the website that you can refer to. Um, all written guides on there as well as you can look at beforehand. And then um, if you do 
sign up. Uh, just make sure that you're on time. Um, otherwise, you may lose your spot. We understand that real life does happen. So if you have to miss, you know, just try to let us know in advance as much as you can. Um, but we understand that you're not necessarily always going to be able to make it. So just try to communicate with us as best you can. Um, and then, you know, just be willing to put in, you know, any time needed if, you know, improvements need to be made, you know, and check out logs. We'll be posting videos of the raids. Um, you know, we have plenty of events on the calendar to help you guys out if, you know, you're, you're struggling and, you know, let us know and we'll, you know, do whatever we can to try to help you out and get you where you need to be. Um, when you're on vents, uh, just please, please be respectful. Please be respectful in the raid. Um, there's no profanity, no sexual, no religious, no political comments. Um, let's see. And during raids, um, you know, if we wipe or something, uh, I just ask that you guys just try to regroup and, you know, get ready as soon as possible so we can get another attempt in. Um, Follow instructions, you know, that I give you, um, you know, and keep vent clear of any, you know, off topic um, chatter, just so we can be sure that we're hearing everything we need. Yep. And um, if there is, you know, a time when, uh, you know, you may have a different strategy, um, I'm definitely, I welcome new and different strategies you have, but just as long as you present it at an appropriate time, um, politely, and, you know, and we can always rejig if we're struggling on something. Absolutely. And I think for rating expectations, I mean, that's really about it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions? I just want to say, just for the new people that are here, um, if you guys ever need any help, and or if you ever have any problems, just let us Absolutely. And I'm always open to talk, um, you know, so feel free, me and any of the other officers, you know, sometimes I don't, you know, always see things in chat or I'm AFK, you know, just, you know, if there's something going on, if there's something that bothered you or something that happened, okay. you know, when none of us were on, like, please let us know. And, you know, we'll do everything we can to accommodate everyone and make everyone feel like they're welcome and at home. That's what we want. Absolutely. sounds great you know and all of the expectations that we have of our raid members um, those are the same expectations that you should have of us as well like we will be on time as well we will be dependable we will have done our homework and researched the fights we will be prepared with flasks and feasts um, very very rarely any event is cancelled on the calendar we don't like cancelling events um, so if raid is canceled on Saturday night, well, then there's something that's just, you know, some sort of extenuating circumstances happen. Um, but 99.9% .9 of the chance, like of, of the time you can count on raid night, Saturday night, eight o'clock, we'll see you there. Also, please do know that like very all said, we will try to help you to supply with the food of blast. But that being said, food and flasks and pots are mandatory for our raids. So we, even if you need to come prepared as if we won't have it. If we do have it, that means you get to keep yours for another week. But they are um, a requirement of our raids. Oh, and I also do want to mention, um, I do have this on the raid as well, um, but just some basic required add-ons. Um, you know, something like DBM, you know, a boss mod, so you can, you know, keep track of everything that's going on. Um, GTFO, that'll, you know, scream at you if you're standing in the bed. <laughs> and then, you know, a healing DPS meter. I mean, that's really the basic requirements um, in terms of add-ons.
Hello? 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 Oh, okay. Oh, I just wanted to add in, um, uh, kind of an overlap of what they kind of said, but make sure if, you know, if you're struggling at all, um, you know, if somebody tries to help you out, just take it as corrective criticism. Um, I've been playing for a long time. Um, I play multiple classes, up and down, sideways, etc., etc. And I learned a long time ago that you know, being acceptance, being accepted of uh, other info is very important. Um, it makes you a better player, and uh, and it's always nice to have help. Um, and just because you need help doesn't mean that's not a bad thing. It just means that somebody else is trying to help you do better. Uh, and in turn, you know, make you a better player. Um, when I first started playing this game, I was one of those people who did not um, like that. Um, obviously, the way some people come across is not the greatest, um, but even just listening and understanding what they're saying, and, you know, because even as a fairly good player myself, um, I don't do everything correct, and I always run across people who are like, why are you doing that? You know, why are you doing this? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. That's just the way I thought it was doing good and, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. And so, you know, uh, try to have an open mind. If somebody, uh, you know, tries to help you out or if you need help, don't be shy. You know, um, we got, uh, there's a lot of good players um, in the guild and that are willing to help. And so make sure you reach out if you're in need of assistance. Yeah. Will do. And the stronger we are individually, the stronger we're going to be as a group. Absolutely. Um, you know, and unfortunately, with rating progression, sometimes we have to make tough decisions and we have to ask people to drop, and it doesn't feel good. Like, it's not something that we like doing at all. Um, but sometimes we have to because of in, in rage timers and, and, and numbers, you know, it's not us that discriminates. It's, it's Blizz, you know, <laughs> they're, they're the ones who, um, who create the mechanics and the enrage timers. And if we just don't meet it, then it's a numbers game. And so it's nothing personal. And if we have to ask you to drop, um, it doesn't mean we don't like you. Um, it's actually quite, quite the opposite. You know, that means that we're going to connect with you. The following week, we're going to help you with your rotation. We're going to get you there. So next Saturday, you'll you'll be uh, you'll be ready to go and and you can participate. So yeah, we definitely don't want to you know not include people. You know that's it's it's definitely a tough decision to make, and you know mm -hmm. I never have to you know and I never enjoy making that. So you know. I don't want anybody to take it personally, you know, if that should happen. And we will do everything, you know, we can to help you. So the next week you can join us and, you know, get that boss feel. Yeah, exactly. You know, and the fact that, you know, our original posting was 10K for heals and DPS, the fact that we've dropped it down to eight, you know, shows that we're trying to be as inclusive as possible. Because ultimately, guys, uh, the thing that makes a good raid group is people that want to be there and want to show up. Um, so, yeah, we want people to be there. We want people to raid. We want people to get loot and have a good time. That's right. Yep. So, and well, yeah, and and to respect the commitment of being a part of a team, right? Like we're we need to not only respect ourselves, but we need to respect the other members of the team. And that means showing up prepared and bringing our A game and doing the best that we can and being open to suggestion. <clears throat> Any questions, guys, before we move into uh, loot rules? Nope. Okay, so the loot rules, as you know, they've changed it all to personal loot now. Which However, sucks. if you get a piece of loot that's, you know, not an upgrade, can be traded, and you want to give it to someone else, 
Um, we're still going to have oops be the one to hand it out just so things don't get you know crazy and confusing. So loot that you want to trade will be handed to him. He will then post it in raid chat and um, it'll be rolled on. So we're still going to do um, rules as need first and then if nobody needs it off spec and then it'll go to transmog roll and then DE if no one wants it. Um, you can only win one need roll uh, for that raid. Um, and then if you want to roll again, you'll have to wait until off spec. And you have unlimited off spec in transmog rolls. And um, you're gonna, you're required to roll on the spec that you are currently in. So if you tanked that particular boss, um, you know, you're going to be rolling on, you know, tank stuff and so forth. Um, any non-guild members, um, they're not going to be able to roll need, uh, so they'll be able to roll on off-spec if nobody in the guild needs it. And then boot rules are reset for continuation runs. Any questions about that? Nope. Okay. Sorry. And just as before, too, let's say a, a mount drops or something, doesn't matter what you've previously won during that raid, everyone has an opportunity to, to roll on that mount and win that mount. Mounts are all personal now. Are they? Yeah. Oh, oh, well, good to know. Yeah. Alright. No questions, comments, anything? Con shop up first. That's my comment. Guys <laughs> <laughs> I have a very I have a very important comment. Mm-hmm. Pepe is a very important aspect of our raid nights. True. So if you don't have a Pepe, you should definitely go get one. <laughs> and they just kept the spell now. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have Pepe, the whistle, and you need help with that, hit hook, hook up with me. I will be more than happy to uh, walk you through all of that. He gives so much luck. He, definitely. He is our lucky term. And the fact that Rantina raids naked, that, that also works to our advantage as well. Naked and the Pepe on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Some things never change. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pepe's naked too, so... <laughs> Yep, he's doing it right. Ooh, I just got a gun. Oh dear. Nice. What? What item was it? Yeah, what item was it? Three forty. It's a one percent upgrade from my bow that I got. <laughs> 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 Any other questions, guys? Or comments? No, it seems pretty straightforward. Well, if there's absolutely nothing else, then if I can ask everyone just to quickly go to our website, I just want to highlight a few features on the website that'll only take a couple of minutes. So it's casualraiddaysthescryers.com. Even if you just put in casual raid days in the Google search bar, um, will be the first thing that pops up. I'll give you a minute or so to get there.
and everybody there. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so on our home page, just at the top, the menu bar, if I can have everyone just click on RAID Progression. So just so you know, this is where I'll upload the screenshots, our victory shots, and I will also update uh, the number of bosses that we've killed. Um, at the moment, it's 0 out of 8, but I know that'll change come the 29th. And then if I can ask you to hover over Raid Progression again, you'll see a drop-down menu, Videos and Combat Logs, if you can click on that. So this is where I upload the videos of our attempts and also our boss defeat. So they'll be uploaded here as well as on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, there is a link to our YouTube channel here on this web page. Uh, there's also a link to our combat logs, so if you click on that, it goes right, right to our Warcraft logs. This is a real valuable resource. Um, the logs, they, they break down the fight. We can assess you know, the strengths and weaknesses of our performance for each fight. So it's, it's really important for us to you know, reflect back on our, on our performance and tweak and you know, make, make changes where necessary. It's, it's a really great rating tool and resource to have. I got a question about our web page on GERD. Mm -hmm. I was in it a couple days ago and I noticed the forum is nowhere to be found anymore. Did you get rid of that? Yes, because Facebook is our forum. So the forum on the website was redundant. Oh, okay. I was just thinking about people that weren't on Facebook. That's why I was looking forward to forget love. Okay, I'm just one. Yep, no worries. Okay, so from there, if I can ask you to click on Guild Expectations, which again is at the top on the menu bar. So Dariella has covered this, but just to reinforce, you know, you, you are a member of this guild, so therefore you represent us. So we do ask all members to be respectful and supportive of others, to be a positive contributor to the health and progression of our guild, uh, to display appropriate behavior. Um, please refrain from making vulgar, profane, sexual, religious, or political comments in all chats and vent. We want to have a good time, but we want to keep it clean and appropriate too. Um, be polite and punctual and prepared for guild events. Question? I was going to say, also let them know that it's not just for everybody. It's also we have, we have some children to play with us too. Mm -hmm. So you got to keep that in mind as well. You call me a child again, damn it. <laughs> you are one big, you are one big child. Oh. I thought I grew up. I'm so with that. <laughs> And just so everyone knows, Black Fairy is our longest standing member in the guild. Ooh, well, I didn't know that. It's true. I did not eat. It is true. So anyway, on that uh, web page, it also details our guild rank, our ranking information, how you can progress in rank, and also the privileges that are associated to each rank. If you scroll down and click next page, then we're into our rating expectations, which Dariella already has covered. So if I can ask you guys at this point to input your tune name and your email address and to press accept, um, that signifies to us that you want to be a part of our community and that you uphold all that we, we value. And upon doing that, you will get the password to access our members lounge. <clears throat> is that only for new or you can just resubmit it yeah if you've already done it you don't need to do it again uh, for those who have already done it you know already that the password to access the members lounge is capital w o capital d one two three so back back in draenor it's w o d one two three
And once you're in Members Lounge, you'll notice all of our picks are here. That's why it's gated behind a password, just so there's some privacy there. If you want to upload your picture, uh, you can press the link. It's a direct link to my email, and then I will upload it for you. And if you want to sport our guild and wear our CRD hat, they are there. They're available. Um, they cost $20. I will send them out to you. They only cost, like, they cost me $14, but they cost about $5 to ship. So, you know, I'm not making a whole lot of money on this. It's just, it's, um, it's, it, if you want a hat, there it is. Um, I'll send one out to you. And the reason why she needs to make money is because purse out of her personal pocket pays for her then and all other extras so it helps her she is a teacher as everybody knows <laughs> she's starving she's teacher very well. <laughs> so anything you can do to help that's where that's why the hats are there oh well, thanks oops um just to continue off of that if if everyone clicks on the the home page again back on our our main menu if you scroll down, there, there is a PayPal donation button there. Certainly nothing is expected. But if you do feel inclined to donate, that's great. Um, all donations go right into my PayPal account. And that goes towards the cost of this website and, uh, and also rent. But it is not expected. Just oh, absolutely that. And, not. And nothing will ever, I mean, if you can help, great. Right? Just want a happy family here, and that's all it is. You just know you're welcome, happy, no matter what you do. What's the strange, strange CAD thing? What's that? Eh? What's the strange CAD thing? CAD. Oh, you mean the Canadian currency? That strange thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not American. That's right. What's that all about? <laughs> um, That's how she gets the money because us Americans don't know. I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> what is that fifty pesos? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, easy with the pesos. I promise it's not a trap. I promise. It's a trap. Chris is a Nigerian. Chris is a Nigerian trap. <laughs> <laughs> also to draw your attention on some of the things on our home page there are some wow community quick links there on the right hand side so the link to our youtube channel is there as well as our facebook page and you know for those of you who don't know that we have it we do so you know please um join our facebook page join our youtube channel um for those of you who download your add-ons from curse forge the link is there there's the Fat Boss Guide, Sign of Kalani, um, Twitch, Ventrilo. Um, so just, you know, some quick links that you will likely use often. They are there and accessible from our website. Um, if we scroll down, our three featured events, we do like to feature Harima's novel. For those who don't know, Harima is our resident novelist. Um, he has written the first uh, two chapters of his novel. If you haven't read it yet, um, certainly click on the read more button. It's there and we are all anxiously waiting for him to finish the third chapter. It's a really good read so I certainly encourage everyone to do so. And if you need reminders of the uh, raid progression um, expectations you can click on that read more button and everything's there. And for those people who who are interested in doing more than just rating, if you click on the read more button underneath our guild calendar events, uh, we offer a whole host of different events on the calendar. So in addition to progression rating, we also offer old school rating. Um, we schedule that kind of periodically throughout the expansion. Every week we run normal heroic mythic and keystone dungeons. We also have a farming event on Monday uh, for poops and gigs, we also do fun contests throughout the expansion. Um, our lawn darts are most popular, so if you haven't participated in that, watch out for that. And we also host uh, battlegrounds. We're hoping to, to establish a rated battleground team this expansion. Um, we have a war mode event. We have island expeditions. Um, for those of you who are more of a visual learner, if you click on the event calendar, it pops up the calendar for the month. 
all the events are there. So at a glance, you can see what's being offered um, every day. And they're all links, so you can click on the links and you get the information that you need. And one final, one final note, also on our homepage, don't forget that at the end of every month, we uh, vote for Guilty of the Month. And so if you scroll down, it's kind of on the middle right hand side, you'll see Member of the Month. So if there's someone in the Guild who has been particularly awesome, um, all you have to do is just type in their name, press submit, your vote is completely anonymous. And then at the end of the month, whoever has the most votes is our winner. They're, they're the Guildy of the Month and we invite them to the officer meeting. So, you know, they can either observe as to what happens during an officer meeting or they can, you know, be a voice for the Guild and offer comments, constructive criticisms or suggestions or ideas. Um, and so, yeah. That's about it. Any any questions at all? Uh, in terms of um, like doing the raid, how do y'all figure out like who does what um, spec and whatnot? And being a druid, being able to be anything, leaves a lot of options open. I mean, right now, um, I think the what well based on I, I did a survey just to kind of get an idea of what people wanted to do right now i think more than anything we're, we're needing heels but i mean if you know i don't want to also force anybody to place something that they don't want to so we're going to try to do what we can to accommodate but you know if you if you're interested in playing a healer then you know we definitely have some spots okay cool I volunteer. I volunteer Shorty to be the next healer. Ah <laughs> uh, ha ha! You have jokes. <laughs> but yeah, we want people to play what they love rather than being told, you know, what is needed. So we'll play what you love, and we'll figure it out from there. Perfect. But on a side note, yeah, the more flexible people are, the more it benefits the raid. You know, Absolutely. maybe uh, one night we only need so many healers. So, you know, um, being flexible and being able to do both is just a, a bonus for the group. Yes, absolutely. I, I can touch my toes, Abby. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> well, you're so flexible. I can still touch my toes, too. I can touch your toes as well. Aww. Yes, but, well, but, but, but do I can you touch my toes. My oh, <laughs> Dag, you win, Dagnab. <laughs> but do you really want to touch his toes then? Uh, Savvy's a handsome man, and I would give him a foot massage. <laughs> Aww, I'm going to fly down there today. <laughs> He's on his way. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we are 11 minutes over time, so I don't want to take up any more of your time. So if there's anything else. Yeah, one more time. Sure. Um, if any of if you any all ever have any ideas or anything you would like to see on the calendar, mm -hmm. please let one of the officers know. We will bring it up in our officer meeting on Saturday. And see if we can't get something arranged, get something, get it on the on calendar. Definitely. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Oops, I need a day of farming down here occasionally. Can you? <coughs> mm. I'm on the Rex plane. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a dino mount so far? Oh, I've only seen one. I do. What? Somebody got a mount. Yes, Wait, they, a, what, what? a dino mount? A dino mount. The dinosaur's auction mount, I believe you're seeing it, right? Oh, no, no, oh. no. I saw a warrior in town have it. Not in our guild, though. That was about the only one I've seen. I'll have one I've seen, I've seen it. 
All right, guys. Well, it was really nice meeting everybody. I have to run to eat dinner. Um, uh, welcome to the new people, and welcome back for the continued guildies. And uh, I'll catch you in game. See you later. 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 Sounds like it. They might want to open some windows. Maybe it was the dinner alarm. All right, guys. Well, if there's nothing else, then we'll adjourn here. And we look forward to seeing everyone on the 29th. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And I'll catch you guys later. All right, take See care. Bye-bye. Okay. See you later. Take care. Take care, guys. See you later. I'll get now. I'll get to you, but I'll be in game if anybody needs. Sounds good.